Hello everyone, this is Ijaz Khan and in this video we will be discussing working capital cash operating cycle. Let's first discuss what cash operating cycle is. The cash operating cycle is basically the time between the day when we pay for our purchases and the day when we get our payment back from our customers. Why do we calculate cash operating cycle? For no business, the lengthier cash operating cycle will be a good thing. So every business would like to have the cash operating cycle as minimum as possible because no business would like to have its cash stuck for a longer period of time. So how do we calculate it? Let's try to understand with the help of an example. Let's say a company purchases goods on 1st of Jan on 15 days credit and then issues the raw material on 11th of Jan for production and let's say it takes two days for the raw material to get converted into finished goods and on 13th of Jan the raw material con gets converted into finished goods since the raw material was purchased on 15 days credit so on 16th of Jan the payment will be made against the purchases the finished goods will stay in inventory till the finished goods are sold so let's assume that the finished goods stay in inventory for 15 days and on 28th of Jan the inventory is sold to customers and let us also assume that these customers pay us after 20 days. So on 17th of Feb, we will be recovering this cash from our customers. So on the 1st of Jan, we purchase the raw material. And on 17th of Feb, we collected this cash. But the cash operating cycle will not start from the 1st January as the company paid for these purchases on 16th of Jan and therefore the cash operating cycle will start from 16th of Jan the day when the company may paid for its purchases till the date when it received cash from its customers so the total duration between this time period will be of 32 days and it is basically the sum of the raw material days the working process days finished goods days receivable days 47 days less the, the credit period of 15 days allowed by the suppliers and it will be 32 days so let's now see how we can calculate all these individual days so here we go we have an example on the screen in which the sales of the company are five million dollars average receivable six twenty five thousand dollars and all other information is available and what we are supposed to do is we have to calculate cash operating cycle assuming 360 days in a year normally in financial management paper you have to assume 365 days in a year in case the question is silent but when the question asks you to assume 360 days in a year then we have to assume 360 days so let's first see how we calculate receivable days that is the credit period allowed by us to our customers or the average time period that the customers take to pay us back it will be calculated as average receivables divided by credit sales so we just have to pick up this figure and divide it by the sales figure to get the days are cash days outstanding so according to this question the credit period taken by the customers is of 45 days now for how long finished goods stay in inventory average inventory 
divided by cost of sale into 365. Uh, we don't have cost of sale in this question, but we have got information with the help of which we can calculate the cost of sales. The question says that the gross profit is 25%, which means that 75% of the sales figure is cost of sale. So if we take 75% of 5 million, we will get 3.75 million. And if we divide the average finished goods inventory, 312500, by the cost of sales figure, the 75% of 5 million, and multiply it with 365, we will get 30 days. For how long the raw material stays in our inventory, for that we have to divide average inventory by the cost of material used during the year. So, Cost of material, according to the question, is 40% of the cost of sales, which means that we should be taking 40% of this cost of sale figure. And if we take 40% of this figure, it will be 1.5 million. So if we divide the raw material inventory, 125,000, by the cost of material used into 365, we'll get 30 days. So it means that on average, the raw material stays in our inventory for 30 days. Then if we want to see how, lo how long it takes for the raw material to get converted into finished goods once the raw material is issued for production. So we'll have to pick the average work in process inventory and divide it by the cost of sales figure. So 187500 divided by 3750000 into 365 is equal to 18 days. Now let's see what's the average payable period that is how long we take how long it takes for us to make payments for our credit purchases. So we have to pick the average payables and divide it by credit purchases. But in this question there, there are no credit purchases figure available, so we can use the cost of material figure and we can assume that this cost of material is our purchases. But as far as possible, do remember that we have to use credit purchases for calculating payable days. So the cost of material will be the same 1.5 million, which when we used it here. And the average payable figure is 150,000. So 150,000 divided by 1.5 million to 365 gives us 36 days. So if we add all these days, 45, 30, 30, 18, and subtract 36 from it, we will get 87 days. And that is our cash operating cycle, which means that the cash of the business will stay invested for 87 days. So the reason why every business calculates this cash operating cycle is that it would like to manage it to a level that it is not more than the industry average because if the cash operating cycle is lengthier for any business, it means it will have to spend more on its finance costs because it has to arrange for the cash and it may go for any short term or long term borrowing to manage this time period. So it's very important for business to manage its cash operating cycle. So how an organization can reduce its cash operating cycle. Number one, it, it needs to reduce its raw material inventory because if it keeps more inventory in stock, it means it will have to invest more in its current assets. It, the credit taken from suppliers should be higher. The company should negotiate with its suppliers and take a higher credit period. It should take less time to get the raw material completed. So the efficiency is very important in this regards that if the processes are efficient, production processes are efficient, 
the working process will get reduced and once the once the working process gets reduced the cash operating cycle will also reduce similarly the finished goods inventory should be reduced and the receivables should be reduced if the company wants its cash operating cycle to reduce thank you for watching